These are the voices of ordinary Irish people recovering from addiction and battling the stigma that remains. We played out in Bray and my young fella came out to watch the game and some young fella, I scored on him or whatever. And he swung around and he said, somebody kick that number nine, kick that junkie around the place. My son was sat on the, on the sideline. I could have died. I could have died. I remember a doctor coming around and I had his flip chat and him looking at me as if like, you're junkie, you addict. And he didn't want to touch me. Didn't want to touch me. Now for a doctor to do that in a hospital. Two weeks ago, your man in the shop told me, use people, use people. My friend said it to me a long time ago. I was only a scope back. And it took me to heart. Like you wish there was a hole on the ground that you could be swallowed up. The guards too. The guards constantly um, targeting you as a, a criminal. So if you're trying to get up out of that barrel and you're stopped at a church on a Sunday with the whole estate watching, how are you supposed to get through it? It makes it harder. Sometimes it makes it impossible. They see the addiction. They don't see us. Drug-related stigma lasts a lifetime. It destroys recovery, families and futures. I don't look down on anybody unless I'm helping them up, you know. I don't look down on anybody unless I help them up.